welcome to the short demonstration of using the Siroc online self-assessment tool. There is a wide acknowledgement nowadays that existing systems of care need to be redesigned to provide a more integrated set of services. The Sirocco Maturity Model Tool is based on the maturity model developed by the Action Group on Integrated Care of the European Innovation Partnership on Active and Healthy Aging. Its purpose is that of easing the adoption of integrated care. It defines maturity to adopt integrated care and allows people who are involved in healthcare to assess the maturity of their healthcare system or the maturity requirements of their good practices with regards to integrated care. Assessments can subsequently be used to support screening and coaching to transfer good practices. The maturity model is based on interviews with health and care systems across Europe. It defines maturity as being based on 12 dimensions as represented graphically in this figure. Each of the dimensions is rated on a zero to five scale where each point on the scale has a brief explanation as shown in this example for the first two dimensions. The rating scale has a phase validity via a Delphi process. Each of the dimensions also has associated an explanatory narrative outlining the objectives of the dimension. For example, we can see here that readiness to change has to do with whether there is a justification, a compelling vision with a real sense of urgency and enlisting stakeholder support, and a strategic plan for better care. Next, I will provide a short example of using the tool for assessing the maturity of a healthcare system. Let's say we have a multidisciplinary team consisting of a doctor, a nurse, an IT specialist, and an administrator. Each of the team members would like to assess the maturity of their healthcare system independently and then come together to reach a consensus. The doctor accesses the tool, goes to the maturity model questionnaire index page, and clicks on create a new questionnaire. This will take her to a page where, on the, light, on the left hand side, she has a form containing the 12 dimensions, each with its ratings, and on the right hand side, a spider diagram, which is automatically populated when filling in the form. The readiness to change dimension is open by default, and the doctor could read its narrative by clicking on the eye icon. Let's say that for this dimension, she decides that the fourth radio button is appropriate for her healthcare system. This fourth radio button corresponds to the third rating. When selecting it, it is represented graphically onto the spider diagram. To pass on to the next dimension, the doctor can use the arrow. For structure and governance, again, let's say that she will pick the fourth radio button, which again is represented onto the spider diagram. To pass on to the third dimension, she can use the tab at the top and enter her answer. She can also open dimensions by using the labels next to the diagram. Also, she can directly enter her ratings onto the diagram, which will automatically open the dimension and select the, the rating uh, onto it as well. As she goes on, uh, we can see something looking like a spider web forming onto the diagram, which is why this type of diagram is called a spider diagram. The doctor will continue until she fills in all of her uh, ratings. For each of the dimensions, she is also requested to provide a justification, a level of confidence, and state whether she thinks somebody else could provide a more confident judgment. But we will skip these questions for the purposes of this video. Before saving her questionnaire, the doctor must also provide a name for it. In this case, let's say she names it health system assessment. When she clicks save questionnaire, the tool will provide the confirmation that her questionnaire was successfully saved. So the doctor will end up with this spider diagram. The other members of the team also provide their ratings uh, and may all have different ratings for different dimensions. So let's say that in this case, this is the spider diagram obtained by the nurse, the one obtained by the IT specialist, and the one obtained by the administrator. When they come together to discuss, the tool provides support for overlaying the different spider diagrams, like this. So we can clearly see here that they haven't agreed on the same rating for all of the dimensions. In particular, for standardization and simplification, somebody has picked a higher rating. It was the IT specialist who states, we are all using HL7 Fire. Two of the users considered that the rating should be two levels lower. It is the doctor and the nurse who say, yes, but getting the devices to interoperate is a nightmare. The administrator considers that the rating should be somewhere in between. And he explains, this will be resolved soon as we are joining an international standards group for devices. In this case, the team may decide that the rating shouldn't be as optimistic as proposed by the IT specialist, nor should it be as pessimistic as proposed by the doctor and nurse. And they may decide on the intermediate rating provide, provided by the administrator. 
We must also decide on the rating for breadth of ambition. Here, somebody proposed a lower rating. It was the nurse who states, so much of what we do still uses paper. The doctor disagrees. She explains, this is true, but our plans for integration between and across levels are more ambitious than in neighboring regions. The other two users aren't sure and so have just provided an intermediate rating. In this case, the discussion is between the doctor and nurse only. And because the doctor has had communication with neighboring regions, the team may decide that her rating is the correct one and thus decide on the higher rating. The team will go on to make a decision for all of uh, the dimensions and end up with a graphical representation on the spider diagram looking like this. This, is, this was a demonstration of how the tool supports discussion within a multidisciplinary team, negotiation and consensus making regarding the level of maturity of their healthcare system. Thank you for your attention.